All right, yeah, it's live. Of course it's live. And guess what? It's almost New Year's, and we're spilling the tea. One, one cup, cup at a time. time. Wow, one cup at wow. a time indeed. So, so much going on, and it's going to be 2020. And before yes. we get into all that, we've got to start the show off because it's driving me crazy on what's going on with you, Dick, because you have... A big surprise for everybody. But before I, I we do. get there, wait, we've got to announce who's on the show today. That's right. So let's start way down here All with right. Jonathan Suits. I'm back. Hi, everybody. And Hunter Paul oh, Drake is right Hunter. here with us. Hey, guys. And, of course, JoJo. And Woo. we're coming to you live from the one and only Tangra Nightclub right here in downtown Ybor City. I call it downtown because... You're downtown with Julie Brown. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can hardly handle okay. it. Okay, I know you're, you're you're dying here. Dying. So you know it is a political year. It is, this is going to be a political year, and you know I know that erections are long and hard. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. It's it's elections. Elections, elections are long and hard. This sounds scripted. It does. <laughs> so we'll just jump right into it. He thought it. long and hard about this so, big announcement. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Dick for president. I am running for president, oh! people. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a crazy year. We're going to have a dick in the White House. A dick in the White House? A dick in the White House, yes. Again? What if Elizabeth Again. Warren wins, honey? <laughs> well, what are you going to do about I'm that? I'm going to win. I, I mean, is this so, a joke? No, this is not a joke. <laughs> Dickforpresident.com. You can go right to it. You can run, help me run for president by ordering t-shirts. Is Art going to be your campaign manager? He is. So our whole purpose and goal is to raise awareness of the importance of voting in local and national elections. That's right. To underscore the message that erections have consequences. <laughs> I, I did it again. I did it again. Elections have consequences. I just, you know, my mind's going there this morning. <laughs> yes? You're, so you've got a comment? You're running for president of the yeah, United States? Yeah, the United States. Oh. That's exciting. Are you being for real? <laughs> You're doing just what you said you would do. Oh, and what is it? take to run for president of the United States don't you have you to get a website like dickforpresident.com where everybody can go and it'll be a lot of fun everybody can go, yeah. can go. Everybody can come. why do I see everybody can come well, we all know you qualify because you have over 35 I love you but you have to be 35 uh -huh. <laughs> yes, why did I, I see rubber and latex on your list no, we'll go back. Oh, you want to go back to that page no I don't I want you to skip we, we, do have some, <laughs> we, we, we do have some special interests that are involved in the campaign and they would be those industries like rubber and latex and wood and petroleum lubricants and, you know, any made in the USA pornography. They're all supporting the campaign. Hardwood so is not in the U.S. Or Bellamy doesn't that qualify. Hardwood, I would assume. Bellamy doesn't qualify. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh you boy. mean president of the bathhouse and yeah. not the United States. President no, of president of the United holes. States. <laughs> and and we're, gonna be, we're gonna be seen in all kinds of cities. We're going to be seen in Tight Squeeze, Virginia. <laughs> These are all real cities, by the way. Horny Town, North Carolina. Truth we'll or Consequences, Town, New Mexico. <laughs> Ding Dong, Texas. Climax, Climax, Minnesota. I can't wait. It's a little cold there to Climax. <laughs> What are your thoughts, Jojo? Oh, I see Jojo. so much is running through your brain, <laughs> including the liquor from last night. So <laughs> let's just uh, do a little break here into the subject. So Jojo works here. You manage yep. our favorite place here in Ybor City. Yes. That's right. Tangra Nightclub. They opened last week, or has it been two yeah, weeks? Last Thursday. Last Thursday. We've been open, operating for about six days. Uh, it's, uh, Tuesday, New Year's Eve will be our seventh day operating, and it's just been absolutely amazing. So wow. We have a lot in store for you guys, too, for New Year's Eve. Uh, we're doing a Vegas theme. What happens in Ebor stays in Ebor. We're gonna blast two thousand twenty dollars cash out of a cannon in singles. That's gonna rain at How the stroke of midnight. Two thousand twenty, the new year, wow. brother. Wow! Wow! The year you'll be president. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna rain dollars. You're gonna stuff your shirts. We have go-go dancers, showgirls, drink coins shaped like poker chips, coasters that are playing cards. Every hour, the DJ calls a playing card. If it's your card, you get a free drink at the bar. 
and tops of uh, aerial stunts. We've got girls dangling from the ceilings. It's going to be so cool. Tickets are only 10 bucks, man. You can't beat that. Definitely come down to Tegra Nightclub, 1611 East 7th it's Avenue. It's only 10 bucks? Only 10 bucks. Wow. No one's there. Yeah, we just opened. Well, we want, I know to, where I'm we going want now. everyone to come and see what we've been working so hard on to bring to the local community. And so. tell everybody about the once a month, was it the nude? Day or oh night yes, up here yes, our theme nights. nights like gay nights every Tuesday starting at 7 p.m. on the rooftop. Twenty dollars all you can drink, sink, or swim. Third Thursdays our roof turns into the Garden of Eden. It's a yes. clothing optional atmosphere for the patrons. So Just that's happening. Patrons. By the way, I saw a tent. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even scripted. I'm actually that. Not the tent in front of us. There's a tent over there to the left. What is that? Back in oh, the ATM. Like the ATM yeah. uh, looked like oh. a spray tan booth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you can get a spray tan here. Yeah. Two for one. Tyler's going to be like yeah. Ross on I know. The I'm like, like, yeah, we can get it, Just make it happen ATM. all before. <laughs> so what else is going on besides Dick for president? Let's talk about some political things that we have that's going on. We have our political spokesperson here, Jonathan Soots. What's going on in the news, buddy? So one thing that a lot of people are commenting on is that Elizabeth Warren's fundraising has gone down, but Pete Buttigieg is still polling high and has got a really good endorsement in Iowa and is leading. So it's exciting for us to um, have him in second place in New Hampshire. Um, so regardless, uh, vote for any functioning adult in 2020. Dick for president included. Um, please just get out and vote, and and please um, research before you vote because this is a big uh, opportunity to uh, change our country uh, back to what it should be. Absolutely. Kind of my take on that. And, and what else have you been doing in your life since we last saw you six or eight years ago? Well, <laughs> um, I wanted to plug really quick. I uh, have been working with uh, several kids in their home and some kids in China. Um, doing more uh, private educating. <laughs> so if there's any of you out there uh, that have relatives or uh, children with special needs, uh, anyone that needs GED education, special education, private tutoring, uh, that is something I can help you with. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Jonathan Suits, um, or you can um, get my uh, number. I'll leave in the comments here. Um, I'm currently helping an 18-year-old girl who uh, died, uh, her mother died. So she's been adopted, and her parents, her adopted parents, are helping her get her GED. And she can barely do geometry at 18 years old. So I'm trying wow. to help her um, change her life and get a job and go into trade school. Cool. And Hunter, what's up with you? What's happening? So this is a great segue. So I spend a lot of time working in the local community with case managers for people living with HIV. And one of the biggest things I'm seeing in, in local focus groups and user group or not, support groups is People feel like they've lost a sense of purpose. They've been disaffected. Um, they really needed a next step, something to look forward to in the day. And it occurred to me that the way that I found my way back into a PhD program was the Pell Grant program. Oh, a lot of these people don't understand that they could go to a local community college at either um, St. Petersburg College or Hillsborough Community College and get free education, have something to do in the day other than sit at home and become more and more disaffected. So I, I'm plugging that. And Jonathan, the fact that you mentioned GED is so important. So many of our people living with HIV don't have a high school education and could definitely use your services. So thank you for that. Absolutely. And um, I would love to be able to help guide them, help them get into a Kaplan book and study and prepare for their GED because it's four or five different tests and you have to have a certain score. So if you're going in and you're not prepared. Um, so how, how cool is that? We can change lives a bit at a time. Voting. And yeah, so definitely got a vote. Our community. Yeah. <laughs> and and as long as we're talking about voting, you know, we got the Dick for <laughs> President t-shirt. And we have other t-shirts. If you go to dickforpresident.com, oh my god, there's so much stuff. Now there. you're finally gonna give us some t-shirts? I so No, I'm not giving anything away. These cost money. There's the what's this one say? This dick is not tricky. This dick isn't tricky. There's no trick here. There you go. That's one. Oh, what's this? Oh, this one has, this one has all the campaign stops on it oh that I've been God. talking about. That's great. I wonder what Jane Castor Until I come, gonna, Washington is Does Jane Castor know you're doing this? Absolutely not. I can't wait to have Jane Castor on the show. Then there's, so we can then there's right. think long and hard before you vote. There you go. Think long and hard before you vote. And don't forget to get yourself a license plate that says pick for president. 
There we go, dickforpresident.com. <laughs> Really and, oh, wait, oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot to bring out the flags. Have a flag. Wave a flag. No, you do have socks. Do you have socks? Are these sack flags? What? Sack sack flags. We, have, we have socks. We have cups. <laughs> bumper <laughs> stickers. There's some cards so you don't forget. Hunter, did you know president. that he was doing this? I knew he was running, but I was not allowed to divulge. Me too. <laughs> you knew too? Well, he couldn't help but know. He was yeah. in my house all yeah. week. <laughs> See? Now the secret's unwrapped. Terrible day. Oh, terrible day. Oh, 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 because I hate secrets and I hate surprises. And it's been killing me. I'm like, what in the heck? She's like, oh, this is going to change everything. Like, this may be the only dick everything. you don't need protection Are from. Are you leaving the show? No. He well. said, you can't get rid of me that easy. I said, what? how is it going to change? Oh, just wait. And it's been killing me. I've been thinking about you everything. Know? I asked, are you, are you going to be joining Jane Castor's political whatever and he said close but no <laughs> so so you know this is the only gay talk show that's ever had someone come out for president to go oh. to be voted for president no wow. other gay talk show has done that. it's an exclusive to true tea and you know it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to run right yeah i know and and you might have way, to give you. away a couple of t-shirts <laughs> in order to get a couple of votes it's a grassroots campaign can't get a t-shirt <laughs> it's a grassroots campaign thank so, you dick are you running in the cheap. green party or His what dick party is cheap. oh i'm running in the dick party <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really, what, what would you joking. think? <laughs> <laughs> the Democrats won't have me. The Republicans definitely won't have me, you know? What so is going to be your political party? The Dick Party. <laughs> it took him a minute. Demographics have it. You're, there are a lot of dicks out there. There, so there are. You, you might have a lot of votes. And there have been a lot of dicks, famous dicks, along the way, too. <laughs> Check out the website for dick. There are dick pics on the website. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm changing this... Uh, this uh, segueing right into a okay, couple questions ahead. I have. <laughs> oh my God. If I can get through this. Uh, segueing into, Hunter, I have a couple questions for you about Travada. It's been all over the news. So I hear it's going to be free, or it is free, or do you... Can, so there is a push in the, in the federal government right now to make Travada available for everyone. Okay. Uh, who needs it or wants it. And um, yeah, that is that is a real thing that's coming, but it, don't expect it overnight. It will Trivata's take a while to get prep, through the pipeline. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Pre-exposure prophylaxis. If you do not have HIV and you do not want to get it, it is the best effective way, aside from a condom, to avoid getting it. But it's not 100%, right? 99.9996. Oh, well, it's but, 100%. Yeah. But it doesn't control but, for all those other nasties out there like chlamydia, right. gonorrhea, syphilis. So make sure. And what about side effects? Run your Jimmy. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> what about Dick, the side effects? Sure. Yeah. Side effects, so it is true. There are kidney kidney side effects, and mm -hmm. like any long-term medication, it does have minor side effects, but these are all negligible for healthy people. So stay healthy, and this is gonna help you stay healthy. It's a, it's a, it's a, risk, it's a risk management kind of thing. And make yeah. sure from someone who takes it, perspective, eat, 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 eat. Don't overeat, but you cannot take it on an empty stomach. You will feel like crap, Yep. just so you're aware. I didn't know that you ate. <laughs> I was going to offer you a cheeseburger before you got on the show today. I said, bless his heart, Jesus, he needs a cheeseburger. <laughs> and Dick needs a clue. Oh. My <laughs> vowel. A uh, vowel? Yeah. Which Do you know vowel? what vowel I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about? No. Well, of providing a shirt. <laughs> How are you going to campaign and you ain't giving nobody a shirt? I'm stuck on that topic. Uh, well, <laughs> give me your size and tell me which one you want. And extra I'll small, order it for extra you. petite. Yeah. All right, so. Okay, the that, was you hear, that, the that was a lie. That was a lie. across from us is Tequila's Next Door. Of course, you got to go and yep. check that out on Sundays right before you come and check out our live show. You can come to Tanger first, have a couple cocktails here because it's open from when? Uh, we're open every Tuesday through Sunday, starting at noon on our rooftop deck and bar. And starting around, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays into the evening, we do transition into the three-level nightclub. Absolutely. If you're watching the show, you definitely know our friend Teacup. And Teacup serving up the cocktails, of course, at Tequila's, which is right next door. So go and visit him next door. And then, Carrie, we got to talk about yep. him. Carrie's yes. going to be yes. back How's on Carrie the show. Doing? So I talked to him for about an hour. Um, he's still recovering. He's not ready yet to be on the show. He's going to come uh, in two weeks. So cool. in two weeks, expect him back on the show. Um, he's doing 
exceptionally better, but he has had some complications, of course, along the way. They they opened him up for for the, the transplant. They yep. got a transplant, right? I should know this. I talked to him on the phone. Well, it's not but, a transplant. It's bypass. 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 So, uh, but they, they he taught me all this graphic information. They actually oh. cut you with a saw and open you up. So then you're exposed to getting uh, germs, and they had to put all this stuff. Anyways, he's recovering. He's doing much, much better. He had some complications, like I said, last week. He was back in the hospital because of that. But he will be back. He promises in two weeks, and he's getting stronger every day. So, hi, Carrie. We're sending our love Absolutely. and respect to you. We love you, Mark and Carrie. All you've done with the show. Yep. All right. I think that's going to bring a segment to an end so quickly. We're done already? We are. We're wow. done. Am I a president yet? <laughs> All right, listen, you don't want to miss next week's Colin. show. We've oh got God. so much in store. It's going to be crazier than ever, I promise you. And that's the end, so raise your teacup, Dick. I know there it's we go. For you. All right. <laughs> we'll see you back here at Tanger Nightclub next week. And Happy New Year. Happy